Tim, uh, Dylan Dodd said that in the first at bat when he went up against you, he challenged you with fastballs and kind of got to you, and then you adjusted, which kind of led to that opposite field grand slam. Is that kind of what you were looking for? Were you hunting for a fastball there? Was that what you were expecting? Yeah, um, kind of like Coach had uh, just said before. Um, you know, it kind of got us together uh, after that first inning and, you know, was telling us we, we got to attack that fastball. Um, you know, we can't let him beat us with that fastball. And, uh, you know, he even told me specifically, like, uh, you know, you don't have to let that first one go because I, I took the first pitch in that first at bat. Um, you know, I kind of wish I had swung at. And um, he said, hey, be, be ready to attack from the beginning. And um, so, you know, when I went up that second time, uh, I didn't take that for granted and, um, you know, just put a good swing on that first one. You knew it was gone when you hit it, man, and you just kind of watched it go out. But that moment, you keep one up in yourself with these moments after tearing your ACL. So when you watch that one and just the atmosphere, what was it like for you? Uh, it was crazy. Um, you know, like you said, I kind of knew it was gone off the bat. And, uh, you know, I'd, I wish I, I wish I could have heard the crowd a little bit better. I kind of almost uh, it, it felt a little bit more dull than, you know, probably some other people heard it just because, uh, you know, I had so much adrenaline and stuff going. But um, just a really cool moment. And, um, you know, I was just happy to contribute for the team win. And, uh, you know, that was, that was really big for us. Chris Muller. Tim, could you talk about the trip around the bases, uh, you know, just the emotion of it, stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, crazy emotions. Um, you know, it's been a been a crazy year and, uh, you know, a crazy ride just, you know, for me specifically, but it's just as a team, um, you know, kind of some ups and downs. We face some adversity and uh, just, just to get that ball to go out, um, you know, it's just a great feeling to uh, help put some runs on the board. And, um, you know, just a good feeling for me, just um, being able to, uh, to do that for us. And uh, um, just crazy because all the stuff I've gone through and, um, you know, had to work through. Um, just a good feeling. Nick, go ahead. At this point, do you feel like you and Kevin are competing for the home run lead? Uh, I mean, not really. We we do kind of joke about it just because just because we're really good friends. But um, no, I mean, uh, you know, of course, I, I would like to be. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, no, no. We're just trying to uh, you know do the best that we can just to just to help help put some runs on the board for our team and. Uh, you know, it is a fun little competition, um, but, uh, you know, just, just trying to do whatever we can to help us win. J jokes aside, having Jacob hit in front of you and, and Kevin hit behind you, just how valuable is that to get better pitches than maybe you would see if you didn't have those guys around? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's huge. I mean, I think that anywhere I, I'm at in the lineup, um, you know, I think that our hitters are good enough where they, they got to pitch to me anyways, um, just like they got to pitch everybody. Um, you know, I think that our offense is so dynamic that, uh, it's it's really tough to pitch around anybody because the next guy coming up uh, can uh, can really hurt you as well. Um, but you know it, it's you know it's nice being able to hit in between good hitters um, just as if I was anywhere in the lineup. But uh, like you said, yeah, it, it is it is nice. Back to Ben. A big story leading up to tonight, um, Tim was Derek starting tonight and then Doug tomorrow to get the win and to see Derek and Jack and Taylor go out there and, and do what they did and then have Doug tomorrow. What kind of confidence boost does it do for y'all and just how does it set you up for the weekend? Uh, it sets us up really well. Um, you know, I was really proud of how, how Derek went out there and, uh, you know, filled it up and um, did his thing and, you know, gave us, gave us four scoreless and uh, I think he only gave up two hits. Um, so, I mean, really good outing by him, proud of him. And, of course, Doherty coming in, um, shutting guys down and, of course, Broadway at the end. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect anything different. Uh, I mean, he's been unbelievable this year. Um, and uh, like we were just saying, I think he's got the uh, the close um, closing lead uh, for for our school um, in history, which is crazy. And uh, you know, being able to get to play with him is unbelievable. Um, so just uh, great performance by all those guys tonight. And uh, like you said, I think it really does set us up well for the weekend. And uh, you know, we're ready for tomorrow.